Hi, welcome to Java Coding Assist. In this video, we are going to see how to create a REST API in less than 5 minutes using Spring Data REST. And also about the paging and sorting repository to apply the pagination to the retrieved data and also to sort the retrieved data from the database. Let's create a new Spring Boot application with all these dependencies. Spring Web spring data jpa for database access and a h2 database this is an embedded in memory database and finally the rest repositories spring data rest i have imported that sample spring boot application into eclipse now we are going to create a resource called user and see how to create the rest endpoints that is a rest api for this resource user first we have to create the domain object user here is the domain object it has four fields user id user name password and role we are going to create the rest api for this resource user so our domain object is ready now we have to next create the repository using the Spring Data JPA. This is a JPA repository to access the data from the database. The Spring automatically creates a concrete implementation for this repository in order to talk to the database, the backend. And we have defined one custom query which returns the user by its user name. Now we have to add spring data rest on the top of this spring data jpa to create the restful front end for this we need to add the annotation repository rest resource this annotation adds spring data rest on the top of spring data jpa and we can set some fields to uniquely identify the resource the first one is the path this is a path that is used to access the resource the resource will be available in this path users and collection resource this users keyword is used to identify the entire collection and this user is used to identify the individual user individual item in the collection is identified using this user on adding this repository rest resource spring data rest will automatically create the controllers which receives the request to serve the resources and also the JSON converters to parse the data and it also connects itself with the Spring Data JPA in order to talk to the back end. The Spring Data REST automatically creates all these things in order to create a RESTful front end. So this is the beauty of using Spring Data REST. It helps us to create a RESTful API with a minimum lines of code. And we have defined one custom query which returns an user when given a user name. This can be annotated with at REST resource. Now we are done with creating a REST API code. Let's run this application and see how it works. The application is running. Let's use Postman to test the application. The application is running at port 8080 and users is the path to access that resource which we have given in the annotation. It's the same path which we have given here. When I send this get request, it returns all the users from the database. If you see the response, we can see that users. This is the users keyword which is used to identify the collection and it has an array of users. This object represents one user and this object represents another user. This is a users collection and it contains a, an array of users. So this represents an user object, the username, password, role and these two links are created by the print data rest. Both the links are used to identify each user uniquely. Towards the end of that information, you will find some links that are created by the Spring Data REST. The first one is the self, which has a link to itself. And the second one is profile. This profile links gives information about the 
user objects metadata if you click this link we will get the metadata about this users object so it has a user name and it has a password and a role it also gives information about the various operations that can be done with the users object the first one is the create users which saves the user into a database and the second one is get users which retrieves the users from the database and the third one is delete user update user patch user and get user which returns a single user and the finally the last one is the find by username which is a custom query that is defined by us and the final one is a search link which is used to search an user resource this link is used to search a user from the database so this is the actual path and after this we have to use the method by which we want to find an user for example we have defined a custom query find by username and we are passing a parameter username so we have to use this find by username and then followed by the parameters find by username that is the name of the query and name is equal to sam now we got the user information about sam this is the search path localhost users and the search this link is automatically created by the spring data rest and it has to be followed by the find by username and this key value pair we can search an another user bob so now we got the bob's details each user is identified using this user link or self link you can use this user link to retrieve an user localhost 8080 users is the actual path to the users resource and followed by the id but if you want to search an user by the other properties other than the primary key you can use this search link if you want to find an user by the role then you have to create that custom query here in the repository class here is an another custom query find by role parameter we pass is the role this role is going to return a list of users from the database here it is find by role we have to use the same find by role followed by the key value pair role is equal to admin so now you get a set of users whose role is admin so this is how you use the search link all these links are created by the spring data rest automatically next we can see how to save an user to the database now let's try to save an user to the database we use the same endpoint users but we use a post method here instead of get we choose the post method and in the body we give the user object and this should be a json we are sending a user data in the json format and let's send this request so here we got a 201 create a response with the actual object that is saved to the database here you can see a link is created automatically the hatios link is created to access this user from the database the user can be retrieved using this link from the database similarly we can do the other operations like patch and put operations on this user object so this is how the spring data rest works it automatically creates all the link and all the endpoints with the json converters to create a restful endpoint and finally you have a page information that is total number of records and total pages when it is retrieved these informations are mainly for pagination instead of using a jpa repository we can use a pagination repository so that you can just get the retrieved data in pages instead of using a 
APA repository, you can just use a paging and sorting repository which provides you all the features for paging and sorting. Here you can just convert it into paging and sorting repository. This paging and sorting repository helps you to display a chunk of data from the database and it also sorts the data based on the query parameters that you give. Using this page number and page size and the sort query parameters, you can just limit the number of records that you display on the user interface. We have replaced the JPA repository with the paging and sorting repository. Let's now use the paging parameters to retrieve our data. This user's endpoint retrieves all the users from the database. Totally there are 15 users. Now we just use this paging query parameters to limit the number of records and also to sort the retrieved data. Now we can use the query parameters size and page number to limit the number of items displayed at a time. Size is equal to 5. I am setting the size to 5 so that only 5 records will be displayed at a time and I should give the page number. It starts with page 0. The first page with the first 5 items. Now you can see it gives you only 5 records from 1 to 5 and the page is 0. Now if you want the next set of records, you can just set the page to 1. Now you get the next file records. If you see here the page information, there are totally 15 elements. So you get three pages. And page 2 gives you the last set of records. Now you can also add the sort parameter to sort the data. Sort is equal to you have to give the field name on which the data has to be sorted. First I will give the user name. And page is equal to 0. Now you can see the data is sorted based on the user name. You can just see the name is Ava and it has a different user ID 7, 8, then 5, 11, 13. So the user data is sorted based on the user name. You can just change this to role. Now it is sorted based on the Role. First, you get all the users with the admin roles. And this is all about paging and sorting repository with Spring Data REST. And this is how we can use Spring Data REST to create a REST API in very less time. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching.